Hello y'all, it's me again. Finally, Everything Everywhere All at Once has somewhat come out to the public. And real quick before this video starts, I just want to say, remember to support this movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Buy it on demand, go check it out in theaters. Support it in any way you can because it's incredible. I love it to death. I've seen it how, God knows how many times and I can't wait to pick it up on Blu-ray when it comes out. But let's get into this. So already with the first shot, this adds a lot of foreshadowing to the entire circle, whether it be the bagel or the googly eye. There's a lot right there that's itself foreshadowing for the future of the movie. So with this incredible first shot, there's not much to say other than the fact that this was an incredible shot. And yeah, obviously you can see googly eyes here, you can see them over there, stuff like that. There's a lot to take away from this image. Okay, now this is a small detail, but I noticed this a few times. Um, there is a penguin from Madagascar right there. I just thought that was kind of cute. So this is one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Right here, this perfectly foreshadows everything that's about to go on. The circle and her basically frowning. That's her basically, it's foreshadowing the bagel that comes later. You see the stressed out uh, bit that she's going through. So quickly snap out of it and feel better when her girlfriend shows up, which comes up later on in the movie. Also, this scene is cute for every reason and I love it to death. You know, he doesn't have to stay. So this was something I noticed only in IMAX. So right here during the scene, the Campbell soup cans say Daniels on it. That's obviously a reference to the two directors who made this movie who are known as Daniels. And yeah, that was really cool to see. Joy, any other time I bet you to come and eat. Or call me or anything, but today very busy. So right there, that line that she just said plays on later in the movie, especially in the ending when she's talking about her flaws, but tells her that she appreciates being with her, that whole thing. That line right there is incorporated later on in the movie. The good job, Daniels, for that. Oh, okay, I just caught something new. Raccoon. That probably foreshadows Rakakuni, but uh, I just noticed that while I was editing this. Hey. So what's cool about this scene or throughout these scenes is that you can see this little poster here, Voice Lessons with Evelyn Wang, because she's a singer and she gets a karaoke machine, which is mentioned in the auditing scene. That's something that was hidden in the movie as well. So if you were watching this movie, you might recognize this actress right here. Uh, she's been in many things such as Mr. Robot and other films, but she has worked on the Daniels on some of their earliest projects. She did the 2014 music video for Turn Down For What, and she was also in one of the Daniels' films called The Death of Dick Long. Again, using the same actors that they've used before, I thought was really cool. Skipping a little forward ahead of the movie during the audit scene right here. <laughs> If you pause, you can see this guy. Now that's uh, one of the stunt coordinators and he's one of the guys who shoves the trophies in his butt later on in the movie. I thought that was pretty funny. So this is an interesting thing I noticed. I don't think it was till the fifth or sixth watch, but right here, you could clearly see that there was writing on the papers. Right there. And in this shot, the writing goes away, which is interesting. That was one of the few continuity errors I noticed, but Again, it doesn't detract from the movie, it was just something that I noticed and I was wondering if anyone else caught that. You either noticed this or you didn't, but with the right there, the hail bagel, um, it shows for a split second, but you, it's there, all right. Something is off. Your clothes never wear as well the next day. Your hair never falls in quite the same way. So I didn't notice this till now, but this specific line that he said is actually the lyrics to a song called Absolutely Store of a Girl by Nine Days. Your clothes never wear as well the next day. Your hair never falls in quite the same way. Also, I just noticed this, but right here. That's one of the Daniels. And Richard Long, which is a reference to the movie he directed called The Death of Dick Long. You see, I'm catching new things as I'm editing this. This is crazy. So this next bit isn't hard to catch, it's just you either catch it or you didn't. <laughs> but when he cuts himself, a bit of blood goes on the camera there, which I thought was kind of cool. If you look at the top, it says everything, everywhere, all at once. And you see the characters right there. I didn't even notice that till now, but there's Gong Gong, there's Deidre, and right there you can see an image of Jobu Tupaki. <laughs> So this bit I love because they're using the da da dun da da dun da da dun 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 song. Yay! 
And right here, it's slowed down. I just thought that was incredible. <gasps> Don't make me fight you! And those sound effects were awesome. Stuff to your previous self, right here. That's one of the Daniels in this <laughs> incredibly bizarre hot dog photo. Um, shows up later on in the movie, but I just thought this was really funny seeing on a rewatch. Also, this scene, believe it or not, was foreshadowed early on in the movie. When they're driving early on to the IRS building, you see this guy with the exact same costume and sign. So this scene is hilarious not only because of the raccoonie, but if you pay attention, you see the tail right there. Also, this is the guy from Step Up in Glee. Shout out to this dude, he is awesome. In this scene, Michelle Yeoh uses the wishy finger. So while you're watching this, you're probably thinking one of those voices sounds familiar. Oh, no. uh, you can't tell anyone. I've seen too much. <laughs> I love this scene. So the voice of Rakakuni is actually voiced by Randy Newman. Not only did he sing in that song, but that's Randy Newman speaking. Look it up on, on the internet, it's crazy. This is awesome, but shout out to the actual Wayman for those workaholics fans who know what's up. I can so this sequence is awesome, not only because it's animated, but this is actually a reference to Joy's photos that were on the wall early on in the movie. In the scene where she gets hot dog fingers trying to fight Joju, you see this drawing right here in the exact same style as it was animated. So this was a cute little detail that I didn't notice until I saw a Chinese YouTuber re reviewer speak about it, but apparently these things are worn commonly by some Chinese mothers or some Chinese women. I just thought that was really cute and something that I didn't even notice in the film, but was definitely there to reference something. So this entire scene, or these scenes that are like this, either you understand the reference or you don't. But for those of you who don't know, um, there's a Chinese director named Wong Kar Wai who's created multiple incredible films, and one of the films he created was In the Mood for Love. And this entire scene right here is 100% a reference to that film. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It is incredible. <laughs> but, um, this is the this entire color palette and even the drop of frame rate is something that's very signature to the director of that film, Wong Kar Wai. For those of you who want to see every Evelyn, here it is right here. It's impossible. It's just a statistical inevitability. It's nothing special. That line right there was used earlier on in the film. Let me assure you of one thing. Just like the rest of your miserable lives, this is nothing more than a statistical inevitability. There it is. If you have come, I will still choose to be with you. Seven years old. Start a little. That is the cutest thing ever. I'm sorry, y'all. I cried the minute I saw that first time. Also, I just noticed right here, piano lessons. The piano's used commonly throughout the movie uh, for Claire de Lune, 
And later on, you do see a scene involving feet playing the piano. <laughs> also, the costume changes for Stephanie Sue, dude. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Okay, this isn't a reference, but I just have to say, after watching this movie, googly eyes have changed my fucking life. I love that the movie doesn't overtly reference this or show this side by side, but upon rewatches, you notice that this scene of Joy running around the laundry room is essentially equivalent to the scene of young Evelyn running around her hometown. Also, the reaction between the parents in both of these scenes shows the contrast between the different ways that they were raised. With Gong Gong being much harsher, and Joy's being much more playful. I still want to do your party. We can do whatever we want. Nothing matters. <laughs> a great use of a nihilistic message turning into optimism. Googly AIs are around more than ever, especially with here, 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 and still on that thermostat. And that's really it. Um, again, there's a lot more I catch upon rewatches. I bet the million other times I'm going to watch this movie again, I'm going to catch more things. But until then, this is what I caught so far. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, definitely go support this movie. Again, if it's still in theaters while well, uh, this video comes out, go support it. Go watch it if you can. And if not, try to buy it on demand. Try, try to buy it on physical media. It is such a good movie. It deserves your money. It's made a ton of money. And more to come. Um, this is one of those movies that reminds me why movies exist. I spoke a lot more about that in my Everything Everywhere All at Once Broke Me video. But... This movie means the world to me, and it, I've shown it to many people in my life who really matter to me, who uh, have also appreciated this film. So go watch it for yourself. Go show it to other people if you've seen it. Go enjoy it if you can. If you don't, sorry you didn't enjoy this movie. And yeah, have a good rest of y'all's days, um, and stay safe out there. Peace.